la la la, welcome back, I am excited, yes. So, in this little inconspicuous piece of cardboard lies the most valuable thing on earth, a 200 millimeter length, ooh, water block magic light lamp bar, sorry. Let's try that again. Okay, but anyway, moving on. So this is the thing that does not work in my current thing over there. So for $25, you can get a replacement. And this is it. This is all it is. A damn 50-50 RGB strip, LED strip, soldered to, to a PCB. Whatever. Proprietary connectors on it. But, I know this damn much. Before I even go any further, y'all need to smash a like on this video. And before I go any further, if you're new, you need to subscribe too. You gotta help me out. I mean, everybody else has plenty of subscribers, but we're lacking on the subscribers. We need y'all to help us out. But anyway, I ordered a new power hub. The thing that this thing actually plugs into, that the remote actually goes to. The actual little fan connection hub. I ordered a new one of those. Just in case it was the hub that was going out. Also, a friend of mine said, Hey man, I noticed that you had it plugged into the same port. You should have tried unplugging it and putting it in a different port and seeing if it would work then before you went and spent $60 on replacement shit. Good point. Too late, but good point. Also, I want to show you guys this. Look. This is from Barrow, which is, uh, they actually, uh, no, it was, yeah, it was Barrow, because they're the same as Titan Rig. They actually sponsored, uh, a video of ours, I don't know, almost a year ago. But this is cool. Let's check this out. Wait a minute, what was that? The rabbit! The rabbit! Why is that there? Don't like me. That's a, why is Oh, I know why it's there. Okay, never mind. Because I set it on the floor to make room for all the other sh shit. Look at all my stuff. Can you see? I didn't have any room for that cereal bowl. So I was just like, well, I will just set it there. And then when I came home today, I just threw my shorts off and said to hell with it. And then my bunny's right here. Hey, get off my shorts. Go on. Oh, critter. That's my bunny. Isabella, Isabel, hey, bunny, big old mother chucker, look at you, I see you looking at me, what you up to today, hmm, what are you doing today, oh nothing, I'm just gonna go chew on your shit, wait a minute, I'm gonna think about it, should I go chew on his shit, well, no, I'll go this way, Nope, she went back home. Alright, so anyway, this thing here, this is a universal pump mount. So basically, it can get mounted that way to your case, you know, or this way, or whichever way you want to put it. Um, and then you can mount the pumps to it. I was thinking, okay, before I found that, I was thinking, because this is how long ago I ordered this bracket, I was thinking that it, I keep saying that, I don't know why, but anyway, I was thinking that it would go here, and then I could put another pump on it, and then have two pumps in the system, because I wanted it to be a little bit unique. Everybody has a GPU water block, and a CPU water block, and a reservoir pump, blah, 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 but I wanted mine to be a little bit unique. So I wanted an extra thing in it to make it unique. I figured, hell, we'll put a second pump in it, that will be cool. We'll put a dual radiator, two radiators in it. That would be awesome. Uh, that didn't fall through. I couldn't do that. Y'all know that the uh, the radiator wasn't going to fit up there. The, it, long story. So I was like, well, I could still run two pumps in the system. I'm actually glad I didn't. This thing has so much force in it. It sounds like an aquarium. It's just, you can really hear the water being pushed through it. It's an incredibly powerful pump. I'm very happy with it. Um, I do have it set up 
to the fan yeah to the motherboard fan no pump is set to the pump header so once I get the system turned on I'll get that dial down a little bit but anyway this is just a bracket and it's and I was gonna put it right there where that's sitting and set another pump on it but that's not gonna happen so we'll just save it for another day anyway I'm need to stop talking let's uh let's figure it out so the first thing that we're going to do so check this out this is a four pin very small right this is a five pin but it's been shaved down to a four pin see there's a there's an empty port there see that so it's a four that's actually a four pin but anyway let's plug it into the shiny pretty block or let's just plug it in let's see what happens <sighs> hopefully it works whoa that's bright oh and it does yes RGB here we come baby now let's see if I can control it cuz I don't know if I can if I can't that's the other thing this new hub that I bought right here it comes with the remote because I lost the remote I think this is the remote for that because I, I don't know I've never seen this remote before it's a new remote and I'm yes look at it it works all right so that's awesome I have one controller that changes all of the lights in the computer that is too fucking cool all right look look red boom everybody went red now once I get the software linked hopefully the RAM will also sync too so let's go to green oh what's it doing back here it's on green yes let's go to blue oh. okay look check this out real quick see that it's on music I can set that shit to music can you feel the music the dream boy come together y'all don't know that song but anyway look at that water flowing through that shit Goom! I am excited look at this thing fuck yeah who can build a badass computer Don can who's a badass at building computers Don a tech PCs Don is I had somebody go, man, I really like your ATEC PCS. And I went, ATEC PCS? He goes, yeah, isn't that the name of your channel? I go, no, it's ATEC PCs. So what I had to do is I had to take the S and make it a small S. So that way it says PCs and not PCS because people were thinking all the wrong fucked up thing. Ooh, check that out. Now, this unfortunately has to be controlled manually but we're just gonna leave it on blue yeah okay I've been doing a lot of talking in this video let's go to work I'm so I wanted to show you all this real quick see the MSI logo on it doesn't that look awesome so awesome to where you needed to add a second one so I have two of them now like that and you can kind of see them but that's what they look like I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I think I'm really damn good at building computers you know small Phillips thing and luckily for me these screws are not super hard to get out I could just use my finger strength and twist them out so it's it's nice um, and I still have to do where is it right there I still have to do that one and then we'll replace it whoop alright so this was the original one that was in there excellent yes we are one more step closer now we just got to figure out the GPU my 
problem with the GPU is that the light port is right here on the left side. I wish it was on the other side, but if I put it on the other side, then it would be upside down. As you can see, it says freeze mod straight across the top, and that's how you want it. You know, uh, and I wanted to run it down that way, but I can't, so we'll have to figure out that way. But this, this is awesome. This looks great. Oh, hell yeah. Very nice. Where's the remote? Hold on. Where's the remote at? Let's go all blue, baby. Let's see what blue looks like. Blue. Blue looks so cool. White. Oh, white was crazy looking here. Let's turn the light off. Ow. I stepped on it. Okay, so that's like a white color. Blue looks good. Now, is it just me, or does it look like the GPU is slightly sagged down? That may be because I don't have this underneath it, and it's not pushing it up. But even when it pushes up, it almost appears that it kind of slightly goes down at an angle. I'm not sure if that's an illusion by the tube here by, or something. I'm not actually sure. I yes, I like it. It looks great, man. I can, I am I'm ecstatic. I'm absolutely ecstatic by it. I love that color. And I like how I can change everything else about it. Like I can completely custom everything. Turn one off, turn the other ones off, turn that on. Like everything is completely custom about it. I like it. That's cool. I kind of like that. So there you have it guys. I hope y'all liked the video. Please subscribe and leave a like. And as you can see we are one more step closer to success. I can't wait to get this thing done. A um, little more RGB. We have to darken up or lighten up the dark spots. Um, I like to figure out how I can get light on that. So if y'all have any suggestions, let me know. And make sure to comment. Leave a like. Share this on Facebook. Alright, help me out. Share it on Facebook, guys. Thanks. See y'all next one.